I have always been and always will be an is it control player. Today we are playing a Ruby Sapphire deck, red and blue. Famously in Magic the Gathering, red and blue is the guild of is it. It's all about drawing cards and destroying your opponent's stuff. And that's exactly what we have here today. I'm excited to play some is it control in Lorcana. Uh, okay, let's jump in. What do we got here? So, uh, Flavershim is our number one card draw engine. He is very powerful. He works very well in unison with our item, uh, Possicle. Possicle also works really well with Nick Wilde. After we pop the Possicle, Nick Wilde gets the Possicle back. The Possicle comes back down. Flavershim deals with it again. We're drawing so many cards. There's a lot of synergy. It's really good. It's really effective. And then we look at the red side of things a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty much it for blue. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> a lot of it is getting the card engine set up, and the other ones are a little bit of support, uh, with the exception of Hades and Tamatoa. Uh, looking at red, it's basically... Red is nothing but removal. Uh, Queen of Hearts is down for that early rush in case we need it. It attacks to remove a thing. Maui's for mid-game removal, it attacks, it removes a thing. Scar's for late-game removal, it attacks, it removes a bunch of things. Maleficent just comes down and destroys a thing. Uh, Hades and Tamatoa. So we're going with uh, four copies of Hades, instead of some kind of mixture of two and two, or one and three with Lady Tremaine. Uh, I believe if you can run a Hades, run Hades. Hades is superior. Uh, Lady Tremaine has two left, two less toughness and costs six. They're both uninkable. That's Lady Tremaine's only upside is that she costs six. She doesn't let you choose. That's a big problem. Hades lets you choose. Uh, so that's huge. And then Tamatoa is a, just a game clinching card right here. Him with all of our items, he might be questing for two, four, twenty. Not 20, we don't have that many items. <laughs> uh, he quests for a bunch, that's important. He also gets back items. And then if we look at our songs, we have 13 of them. Uh, three of which are removal. Back into that control. Except for one jump ahead, that's the only one that doesn't remove. Uh, it's just ramp. And then items, mostly the items are here for Flavishim. Let's draw some cards, let's destroy some stuff. Let's win some games. Hey, there we go. Go in second. The world is back to normal. <laughs> uh, don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Teeth ambition's not bad. Don't need you. All right, got some ramp as well. And I have some easy inkables. I have one easy inkable. Okay, I got two easy inkables now. Fishbone. All right, yeah, the opponent's gonna know my colors. It's fine. <clears throat> wow, Scar. Definitely need to get this fishbone down. Hmm, another possible. I think we're inking the teeth. Get a Noe down. He can sing my one jump. <clears throat> so we can get double ramp next turn. What will opponent do? They're touching all the cards in their hand. Must be good. <clears throat> More steel. Okay, cause, so they're going to have shift Yzma. Which I think is largely fine. I think we're just going to stay on the plan here. Even if they don't have shifties, but they could attack into this. It's only resist one. We're just going to focus on having a good, solid turn here. Alright, this is going to take me to five. So I could get to six. I could get to seven next turn. I do like Gaston. I don't know how wide my opponent's gonna get. 
This is two solutions. I think Gaston's a better card. Let's get rid of Scar. Can't guarantee my opponent will be sideways. <clears throat> yep, he's an attack. Okay, easy. I already got my use out of Noe. Let my opponent go crazy for a moment. Ooh, what do I want? Another Flavorsham or a Nick Wild Synergy? Let's go Nick Wild. <clears throat> and I'll pass the turn. Alright, we're gonna see an Yzma shift. Yes, we are. Are we gonna see him target me? Nice, I'll take it. Sets me up for a pretty good board wipe. Eh. Probably still a pretty good board wipe. Probably. Okay, no. <laughs> my Flaversham! Good thing I didn't take both of them. They weren't both in my hand. <clears throat> Let's see, I can get up to eight, eight this turn. So I could play a Tomatoa. Nope. Whole New World's back. Gotta be careful. Whole New World is actually really powerful against us. We could deck ourselves. We haven't been incredibly lucky in the draw card category. Who do I take down? I gotta take down Mickey, right? So the brooms don't get out of hand. Let's do that. Let's do this. I don't think I need a Grandma Tala. <clears throat> Let's have Maui take you down. And then if my opponent wants to defeat Maui, they're gonna have to do it with Yzma. Hmm. I think I do play another Fishbone, just for the sake of Tomatoa. Yzma's turning into one of those rock star cards. It's like the perfect removal when you need it. It has the slight downside of letting your opponent draw cards, but hey, it's pretty good. Alright, now we gotta worry about Yzma again, though. Oh, that's still had a damage on it. That was weird. Other Yzma. Could play the dragon here and just defeat some stuff. Let's see, I could attack the brooms, I could teeth and ambition. But also possible to heal so Maui survives. <clears throat> They'll still have three damage, so Madame Mim will take it down. Oh, let's see. Pretty much take out the board here, right? Maui can't take down both things. The Yzma should die, I think. <laughs> Force him to really pay for her. Pay for it. Get the big Yzma. And then we don't sing. <clears throat> that way. Now he's not tapped. They're playing steel. Should pop this. <laughs> Give Maui the best chance of survival. There's the board wipe. That's good. Oh, you must attack with a reckless character. Of course. 
I knew that the whole time I was testing you. All right. Now, Madam Mim attacks Maui. Yzma comes down, defeats Gaston. That's pretty much my opponent's entire turn. And then I play Maleficent to take down Yzma. We're just kind of on this back and forth. Who's going to have... Who's going to have characters in play? All right, opponent, what do we got? Ooh, the cool Madam Mim. The infinite combo one. All right, they're setting up for something big here. Madam Mim surely taking down Maui. It doesn't need to attack. They should quest. Yeah, because Maui's forced to attack anyway. See, so yeah, I have no songs for him to sing. Can't sing a whole new or a whole new world. I can't sing a Be Prepared. There's no way to save Maui, I don't think. Hmm. Question is, do I blow up the board? <clears throat> or do I wait another turn and let them play some more stuff out? If that's the case, I'm playing Gaston and I might get something else. I think I'm just blowing up the board. Opponents committed a lot of resources to the board. <clears throat> we know there's still an Yzma in hand. So they still have the capability of pretty much taking down something we play. And eventually we just have to walk into it. Gaston's a good card. Hmm. Well, I could Flavorship and draw two cards. Then Flavorship likely just dies and draws two more cards. I was trying to ink you. That's incredibly frustrating. Did I already ink this turn? I must have already inked this turn. I was attempting to ink you. Well then. <clears throat> Very unsatisfied with that. Meant to play Flavorsham. That definitely would have got Yzma out. And I would have drawn four cards out of the whole deal. Alright opponent, what do we got? All right, Yzma for the guest on. Ooh, a Hades. Hades, Hades, Hades. I think I'm going dragon here. Just the more expensive play. That way, next turn, I have multiple resources to respond to their few resources. <clears throat> now, don't forget, we could always still just get hit by a whole new world. Older for a cycle effect. Oh, it's got 38 cards. And they have they put the whole new world back, so three to four copies in their deck. <clears throat> really going for the attack. What are you planning on? Swords? You haven't shown any fire of the cannons. You got There goes a smash. Tinkerbell? He's more for the Maleficent. Yeah, let me draw some more cards. Sweet. Definitely inking the one jump ahead. 
Don't need the hops anymore. Take down the Yzma. We're definitely going to get hit with some sort or uh, <clears throat> our um, whole new world. Words, Winter, words. All right, we, we need to play around that because our opponent can legitimately defeat us that way. So we're not going to be playing Flavorsham. There it is. Don't be surprised if they ink and play another one. <clears throat> we need to get lucky and hope that the hand they drew has multiple whole new worlds. And they just don't, li they literally just won't have enough. Something to watch out for is they play a broomstick and get a whole new world back because they did put multiples back into their hand. So they need to guarantee getting it. So what I need to do is play as many questable characters. <clears throat> I wish this card would tell us if they put it on top, right? Do the top two. Oh, put one of your deck and the other on the bottom. Never mind. That one doesn't show a squat. All right. Let's get rid of a card. Let's ink a card. Nine. I got plenty for all these. Let's play the dragon. Get rid of brooms. Let's play the queen. Attack the Olaf, just in case. Let's play the hops. Destroy the cauldron. We'll get a draw a card off of it. And quest. <clears throat> My best bet is to... I have to try to quest for the victory here before they deck me. They could cast two A Whole New Worlds here. That's 14 cards. That's not enough. There's an item, that's fine. They're not gonna beat me in a quest war. You got another Yzma? You're out of ink. End your turn, opponent! End it! <clears throat> Oh, they managed to have it. Go opponent. Oh, they missed the trigger, right? Yeah. Okay, first things first. Let's get rid of the Mickey Mouse. I don't want them trying to race me back. Let's get rid of that one. Quest, 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 quest. And just in case. Let's do two damage to... Oh... The queen. <clears throat> She's already on her way out. Alright, they basically have to board wipe me. Or deck me. I didn't think so. Go in first. Uh oh. We're doomed to lose. But I got a Flavorsham. Can I get. Can I get a popsicle? Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, let's see. I like all my cards. We're going to ink the fishbone. I got too much synergy. <clears throat> Could also consider inking the noise. 
the noise. Oh, steal again. We're gonna get wheeled for sure. <clears throat> Are we gonna get past the queen? Or are they gonna shift? They're gonna shift in a whole new world, us, aren't they? <laughs> Don't you do it. Don't you do it, opponent. There's the shift! <laughs> Don't you do it, opponent! They're gonna play that way. I need to get Fishbone down now. Alright, you're no longer effective. <laughs> I think I'm just questing here. I don't mind if the Queen wants to attack me, honestly. Keeps- that means they're not questing. Alright, opponent hasn't demonstrated a whole new world yet. Perfect, they're not questing. Oh, but they do, they're gonna have it for sure. It's in the deck. There's the aerial. That's definitely the song version. There really is no other version of Amber Steel, is there? Alright, we're gonna put Scar away. Put Nick Wild away. <clears throat> and if I don't flavish him here, they may never use the whole new world. I gotta demonstrate that I am uh, threatening. There's the Cinderella. Another Cinderella. A board wipe off the top would be just hilarious. Because <clears throat> you know they want to shift one of those. <laughs> no board wipe though. Maui. Okay. And the shield's great with Flavorsham. Oh, how do I want to play this? Maui definitely takes down the queen. They are going to get a shifted Cinderella out, I'm sure. If I could take down both the characters, they won't be able to sing. Well, I do got enough for both my rush characters. Maui's going to take down Ariel. Queen of Hearts will take down the Queen. Now they may be able to play Cinderella, but they can't sing a song and attack into me. So as long as Flaversham's not tapped... Ink that one. I'll play a popsicle. And I'll pass the turn. And then I got a Hades to defeat the Cinderella. <clears throat> Curious if it'll bother attacking the Maui. It feels like whenever I am not playing a wheel deck, I do play against a lot of red blue. With the exception of this red blue one here today. Uh, <clears throat> they're really rampant. They really want to get a Cinderella sing song attack. 
And so I do find it interesting that now that I'm playing a red-blue deck, that I'm playing against a ton of wheel decks. I wonder how common that is. Alright, Maui definitely takes down Cinderella, right? And then I'm going to Teeth and Ambitions the other one. And Hades the Aerial. Hmm. I think I'm doing it this way. Make sure that's defeated. Um. Yeah, let's blow up the popsicle because I I do have the Nick Wild as a just in case. All right, if you're just gonna throw out a Cinderella, I'm ready for you. Do it. Just throw out a Cinderella. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready for ya. Hades is the studliest stud muffin. <laughs> oh, Hades, I love you. Back at it again. I'm number one. <laughs> Ooh, double possicle. Okay. It's a pretty aggressive hand. Interesting. I'm missing some key pieces though. Like a Flaversham. Okay, hops, not bad. Not the best, but not bad. It's definitely ink. Ooh. <laughs> it is a little tough though, because I do want the queen to be able to have the teeth. But I have to give something up. And I'm definitely not giving up a possicle. Alright, let's give up the teeth. There's no guarantee that they're going to have something. And if they do, I still have the queen, who's a character on board. But at the very least can quest if my opponent's going to have nothing. <clears throat> so just a little bit more versatility in the queen, I think. What are we playing against? Definitely a steel deck. Without seeing any cards in their deck yet, it's 100% going to have steel. Because why would they not have a whole new world? Alright opponent, they're looking at that one card very intently. <laughs> they're like, this is the card that's going to win me the game. That was me yesterday with my Goofy. <laughs> There's the Amethyst. Amethyst Steel it is. Okay. I'm gonna ink the queen, play the grandma. I wanna get a character on board. At least start questing. At least Tala here can also eventually ramp us. Alright, opponent. What will you have? You're going to use removal? I would love that. <laughs> I would love for you to use something like a fire the cannons on Grandma Tala. Yep. Reading the card explains the card. Just keep touching the card. Show me your steel. Oh, Ruby Amethyst. Nice. I'm running desperately out of inkables. <laughs> Oh, why me? Oh, no! Every game! Every game, it's inevitable! I'm always going to have a hand of uninkables. Even in a deck with... There's only 15! <laughs> there's only 15 uninkables. I have 33% of them again. Oh, every day. There's two things guaranteed in this world. <laughs> and one of them is I'm gonna have all my uninkables at some point. 
Oh, Flaversham, thank you. I just, I need to draw some inkables. Those will do. Sing and friends, so they still have four ink they can play with. Merlin, got to draw those cards, draw those cards. Let's see. <clears throat> I think I'm definitely questing and drawing cards here first. Oh, that was pretty good. And then, yeah, it's guest on. Here's the thing, I can get more control. I guess my opponent controls pretty decent. Or I can get the inkable. I got a lot of control in my hand, let's get the inkable. Would have liked to have actually found an item there, but that's fine. We're not down and out forever. A couple turns Tamatoa will get items back for us. <clears throat> okay, Aladdin's not scary. Fishbone's good. Ink the Noe. Gonna play the fishbone. Let's ink something else, possibly, shall we? Perhaps the let it go. I got two Hades, board wipe, and a scar. I think the let it go. Now, if I quest here, we're probably gonna see big Aladdin. So I'm probably not doing that. Go up four and then down two. Sort of like I can attack and remove some characters. I can only remove one character. Guess what's not big enough. All right, we're passing turn. <clears throat> My opponent taps down enough. A uh, big scar is going to be really good. That is certainly the board wipe I will opt for. Oh, if they're going to go that wide. Uh, okay, they're bouncing goat. Not the most effective thing. Still gonna go for a Scar. Scar's gonna end up trading. I don't have a way to heal him. Let's see, I could quest with Flavershim. Could get the Popsicle and then Scar's really taking out most of, pretty much their entire side. Okay, didn't get there. All right, let's do it. Let's hit him with the scar. Start with Aladdin. Untap, yes. Take out the rabbit, let him draw a card. Untap, yes. Take out the Maleficent. Take out the mini here. Probably. And we'll ramp. Fast turn. Just control the board. They can get all the way up to 19 lore and we could still technically win. Granted, it'd be super obnoxious by that point, but totally could. Opponent still has a full grip, though. 
We know one of them's goat. Ursula. Interesting. That's definitely a Hades, I think. I have no toys. I think I'm going to play a Noe. My opponent's got board wipes, right? That's what we're going to see. Definitely going to see the board wipe now, right? Oh, they're going to take 12 turns to figure out that this one turn should just be Ink Quest board wipe. Unless, of course, they don't got it. I find it hard to imagine that they don't have it. Wow, they don't have it. They're just going to go for the goats, man. Okay. I can quest for a bunch of them board wipe. No, they definitely have the board wipe then, right? That's why they played the goats. So they could quest for four and then gain. So they're going to gain six. Is there a way for me to stop my opponent from doing that? I don't think so. I mean, I can mitigate it by. Attacking or whatever, but I don't think so. I don't think we play into it. I think I'm just gonna quest. <clears throat> Question is, do I burn my own board wipe here? If I do my own board wipe, they don't get four. But then they still have a board wipe, probably. They're still gonna get two. They're not going to get the total six out of it. Let's do it. And yeah, that is uh, that is intentional to not sing it. I didn't want to immediately just throw another character into play and then run into a board wipe. And then lose out on the two lore we could have got. This way I'd rather have him play something, have Hades take it down. Be a little bit more of a back and forth. Ursula. It's a good target for Hades. Somehow we both drawn the same number of cards this whole game. Feels like my opponent's drawn more, but that's how powerful Flavorsham is. He's only got to be active a few times this game, and somehow we've drawn just as many cards. Uh, probably inking the Flavorsham here. Whoever's going to be able to play the biggest, most powerful cards multiple times a turn is likely going to win this. Another goat. Now they bounce the goat. Man, they're getting lucky with all their goats here. That's three goats. That's going to make things really tough. Okay, definitely don't need that. All right, 100% questing. Tomatoa, possible, draw card, another Flavorsham. Got to ink a Flavorsham though, I do need ink. And then I'll play the one jump ahead, because like I said, whoever's going to be able to play the most is probably going to win. <clears throat> Quest and board wipe. Goat again. Now the board wipe? Man, they are just killing it with that goat. Good job, opponent. I got death by goat. <laughs> well, unfortunately, that is all the time I have for today. 
Uh, what would I change in the deck? Mm, there's a lot of little changes you could make to this deck. It's very fluid still. I don't think anybody's really nailed down the winner uh, that's going to take all. Uh, so I'm definitely still refining this deck. If I was going to sit down and try to run for Grandmaster, this is likely the deck I would go for. If I was going to uh, actually commit to that, the biggest change I would make uh, would be to put something in here uh, to try to find a way to mitigate a whole new world. It is easily one of our biggest weaknesses. Uh, additionally, I would probably also uh, take out a few Grandma Talas and bump up Queen of Hearts to be a four of. Uh, just uh, to mitigate some of these rush decks, the ones that are going to get down there very fast and questing immediately. It's nice to be able to counter that. Um, yeah, so counter the very quick aggro decks with the Queens and then something. I'd have to think about it more deeply than these quick one to two minute wrap ups. Uh, something to mitigate the whole new world. Something to get around that. Uh, and that could possibly be just having a thicker deck. Right now we're at 60 cards in the deck. I know you can't see it, it's just off screen right above the characters. We're at exactly 60 cards. So it could be that we're just bumping up the queen and then adding maybe another card to help with consistency or help with uh, smoothing things out. Maybe finding a way to get cards back out of our graveyard into our deck, which I don't think is something in this yet outside of the broomsticks. Uh, maybe a handful of other cards. I'm not sure these colors are running that. Uh, but yeah, possibly just a thicker deck and the whole new world is going to struggle a whole lot more. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. There's a link in the description down below for this particular version of this deck of Is It Control? Uh, I'm still working on it. Don't be surprised if the deck list changes. Uh, there's also links for the Discord and the Patreon. If you want to see videos two days ahead of time, two videos more than everyone else, uh, there's a link for Patreon down there. Those guys are going to be uh, ahead. Uh, I am also considering doing some exclusive content specifically for the Patreon. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We're, I'm thinking about something along the lines of if you guys want to see specific decks being played, perhaps that could be a Patreon thing, right? It's already a Patreon reward. Why not make it also a Patreon exclusive? Uh, yeah, that could be pretty cool. So if you guys want to see some exclusive content and also be ahead of everyone, there's the Patreon link. That's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.